Well, welcome, lovely Sagittarius, to your general timeless reading. I will begin your reading with Crystal Scrying and continuing on with the Tarot and Oracle as well. Now, Sagittarius, before I begin, I do need your help. I will be moving in a few months. Um, now, I have been working tirelessly attempting to get a split screen for you so that you can see myself and the table. Well, I haven't had any luck with it. Um, I have purchased a, a, an extra updated camera. I have purchased also a PC um, that would push, supposed to push enough power for that second camera. Um, and it's not working. Uh, so my next option and only option that I have left at this point is to uh, sign a contract to increase my internet service. And since I'm moving, um, I'm choosing not to do so. So uh, if you will, please leave in the comments, do you prefer to see myself for the readings uh, or do you prefer to see uh, the table with the cards and the crystals and the comments that I get the most of uh, for either direction. That's what I'm going to do until after the move is complete. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. Well, let's go ahead and begin. Holy Spirit, Holy Divine, all who are with me in the highest divine realms of love and truth, I ask that you please give me clear understanding clear communication and interpretation skills to bring forth the most important information that Sagittarius needs to know for this general timeless reading, please, Spirit. Thank you. Okay. Here. Thank you. Who is Sagittarius? And here. Okay. Slow down, please, Spirit. Okay. I am seeing. Oh, okay. I see. So, Sagittarius, um, I'm seeing you. This is only symbolic. Please do not let this scare you. I'm seeing you in a casket, which is representative of some kind of death and transformation, just like the death card in the tarot. OK, um, now around you, there are a lot of people. There were several that I saw sticking their tongue out at you. Um, there were others that were like just a lot of gossipy type energy um, going on. Um, some that were gossiping or talking about you to others um, had a very nasty look on their face. So here's what I'm getting. First of all, um, should people begin to talk about you or whatever, um, I would not let that bother you at all. OK, uh, because what's going on here is. Uh, it's simply that you are having a death of a situation, of a cycle in your life. You are um, upgrading, if you will. You are increasing higher in frequency. Um, and when we do so, that means a lot of times we are not equally yoked anymore with the same people we used to hang around or the same people um, that, uh, you know, we used to do things with or we used to work with. It could be our jobs even. OK, it could be so many different things. But things like that and people will begin to fall away. OK, and I feel like that's what Spirit's saying here, because you're going to be raising higher in frequency that your old life is going to begin to just kind of kind of go to the side. OK, and there's going to be some kind of new life that's ushering in for you, that's going to match your frequency and you will be a whole lot happier when this takes place, okay? So don't let this scare you whatsoever. It's never to cause fear. Okay, Spirit Holy Divine, what would you like to tell Sagittarius, please? Thank you, thank you. Okay, so the first card that came out was this one. Let's see, what is this? Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands, yeah. OK, so with this Ten of Wands, it's like what I'm feeling so far is there's, you know, of course, it's it's about being overburdened. Um, some of you, this could be, you know, having a lot of your on your plate, a lot of responsibilities. Um, others of you, this could be actually things that um, like projects that you have chosen to work on or plant uh, seeds that you planted 
um, on purpose and you are harvesting those, but it's taking a lot of work, okay, to do so. But when I see the Ten of Wands, that's also telling me that you're almost there. You're almost to the finish line. Hang in there, Sagittarius, because there's only a few more steps and you can put these wands down. You don't have to carry them anymore. The cycle's almost complete, which is seeing you in the casket, the death, the rebirth, okay? Now, the next card that came out, yeah, we have the Nine of Pentacles, okay? That's pre-Empress energy. Heck yeah. So, with this Nine of Pentacles, um, one of the main things that's popping out to me here in this reading, the Nine of Pentacles is about making sure that um, you're keeping most of the pinnacle, which would be energy, okay, in any form for yourself and only giving a little bit uh, to people, places, situations that you would receive that energetic, um, well, that energy back, okay? So, in other words, um, making sure that you keep your cup filled making sure you keep your batteries charged um, during this time because, you know, as we are almost completing a cycle, things can get rough. You know, to be honest, in the 3D, things can get rough. And, you know, we can start feeling like, oh my gosh, I, yeah, I'm held on. All I can hold on. I, I can't go anymore. And it's like spirit saying, Sagittarius, just a few more steps. Just a few more steps. You're almost there. Hang in there. And during this time, make sure, no matter what, even if it's just five minutes, make sure every day to give yourself some kind of self-love, self-care, clear your mind, something, okay, for you. And be very careful about how much of your energy you give away to people, places, situations where you're not getting anything back in return or getting the equal amount. Okay. All right. Let's see what else. Spirit, do you want me to go here? Yes. More from the tarot. Okay. What else would you like to tell Sagittarius? Okay. Thank you. And you can see that flipped over in the deck. And we have. King of Wands. Sagittarius, there you are. Okay. King of Wands. This is your energy. Um, this is the energy that you're supposed to be in, um, that you will be stepping into. Um, it's like a you know, a leadership role. It's being very bold and assertive. It's being that that leader, that supervisor type energy. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, this is absolutely wonderful, Sagittarius. So it's like Spirit's saying that you, Spirit's getting ready to bring you into this beautiful role, okay? This beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, but there's a, it's a lot of, a lot of work to get there, okay? Um, in some form. Um, doesn't mean it has to be a lot of physical labor for some of you. It could be a lot of mental, you know, getting things figured out, getting things written down, planned out, however this means for you. But it is, it, it, I am seeing a struggle here, okay? But Spirit's saying again, this is where you're headed, okay? Some kind of leadership role. And you're going to have to be bold. You're going to have to Keep persevering because you're almost there. I love this for you, Sagittarius. I really do. And I'm, I'm hearing courageous, okay? So there may be something that some of you watching this, you may have to or may be encountering something that is going to require a lot of courage. But Sagittarius you got this, right? And it says a deeper world. Don't push or force your way through life. Finding balance. There's the nine of pentacles right there. Finding balance even in dark times, okay, um, will open your heart to the depth of compassion in everyday moments. I love this. And you know, the king of, of wands also is a card of 
passion, okay? Passion and compassion. So it's like going after your dreams, hearts, goals, and desires with all that passion and drive and not allowing anything or anyone to hold you back, Sagittarius. You've got this, my friends. I'm going to leave this here. Much love to you and much success. Bye-bye.